This program is brought to you by Buddy's Designated Driver Service. We serve the entire Treasure Valley, providing safe transport home of you and your vehicle. We strive to improve safety in our communities by reducing the number of DUIs through providing quality service to the public. For more information, call 208-870-7271. Hello, Treasure Valley, and welcome back. At the end of World War II in 1945, the United States conducted two nuclear explosions on the islands of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, Japan, which led to the death of hundreds of thousands of people. On August 15th, Japan declared its surrender to its allies, and on September 5th, signed an, independent, an instrument of surrender, which officially ended World War II. As we approach the 67th anniversary of the bombings, there is an event taking place in the Treasure Valley to commemorate the events that took place on those days. Here to help us give a little more insight on this event is Liz Woodruff, Executive Director from Snake River Alliance. Liz, thank you so much for being here today. Hi Joey, thank you for having me. Absolutely, so first of all, go ahead and tell us about this event that is taking place. Well, on August 6th uh, this year, mm -hmm. which is a Monday coming up, we're going to have a peace walk and vigil to commemorate the bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. So we're gonna meet at the Anne Frank Memorial at the end of 8th Street by the Public Library in downtown Boise. And we'll join together there and we'll walk um, in a, a silent peace walk led by the Idaho Peace Coalition. And originally we were gonna walk to the Friendship Bridge which connects Julia Davis Park to um, Boise State University, mm -hmm. but that bridge is under construction. So oh, we so just- move the location then. <laughs> well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a nice walk in the shade through Julia Davis Park, and then we're gonna come back around to the Anne Frank Memorial, and we're gonna go to the wooden Ninth Street Walking Bridge there, okay. and we'll be hanging the peace cranes from the bridge. And they'll hang from August 6th to August 9th, which August 9th is the bombing of Nagasaki, mm -hmm. and then we'll take them down. And it's a way for the community to commemorate this event, um, pay homage to the devastation that occurred, and really come together to start to heal um, from what was a devastating human tragedy. Absolutely, so uh, tell us a little more about these peace cranes. I know you brought some with us today. Yeah, yeah. so um, we uh, make an effort at the Snake River Alliance to connect with the Japanese American community whenever we hold events. So when we had an event to commemorate um, the tragic events at Fukushima, um, last March 11th, due to the earthquake and nuclear disaster, we connected with um, Japanese Americans here in, in Boise and had a, a, you know, a wonderful event with them. And that um, brought further connections to a, a woman who um, was just in Japan as we were starting our planning, and she was actually in Hiroshima. And so I wrote to her to ask her um, how she would like to be involved and share this concept of hanging the cranes from the bridge with her. And she said, well, I'm going to go over to the um, ministry in Hiroshima and see if I can get you some cranes. So um, quite a bit of paperwork later, but within only it, five days. It looks like, and these are beautiful cranes. Yeah, so um, the city of Hiroshima um, sent these to us in two gigantic boxes, and we got about a thousand cranes just the other day. Oh, wow. Okay, so how long has this event been taking place? Well, the Snake River Alliance has been in existence for about 34 years, and I believe we've been holding this event almost every year since the early 80s, so about three decades. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Okay, now, um, with this event, after the walk and the hanging of the cranes, mm -hmm. are you going to have any sort of live speakers or um, any kind of guests as well? Yeah, so um, while we're walking, we're actually having another gentleman who's a member of the Snake River Alliance who's going to be um, beating a drum as we walk. And when we get to the bridge, he will sing the, the city song for Hiroshima and lead us in that song. And there's a section that we can all sing with him. And then the, the woman who um, brought these cranes for us um, will also be talking about her connections um, to Japan, uh, her concerns around nuclear weapons and addressing, addressing people. And then there will also be an opportunity when we do these kind of commemorations, we like to give those who attend the opportunity to share whatever sort of feelings they're having because that's part of the healing process. Oh, perfect. Now, um, for those in the community who want to get involved with this, how can they find more information? How can they get involved with this uh, memorial walk? Yeah, well, they can go to our website, snakeriveralliance.org, and in our event section, they'll see it come across the screen, but they can also go to our calendar, and they can get all the details on the event. Um, they can also find us on Facebook, at Snake River Alliance on Facebook, and all the details for the event are there, too, and I hope that people will come. Feel free to call us or email us with any questions and bring their friends. Oh, perfect. Now, being that the walk's taking place outside, mm -hmm. obviously it's going to be very hot outside. Yep. What do you recommend for the the individuals who want to be involved to bring? I yeah. mean, obviously water and... Yeah, we're letting people know that all ages are welcome, mm -hmm. um, but people should bring comfortable shoes, sunscreen, um, and water, and, and any kind of sun protection. And we'll try to limit 
you know, the physical aspect of it enough so that it can just um, be a pleasant event for people. But people can also, if they don't want to walk, they can wait at the Anne Frank Memorial and just join us for um, some of the hanging of the cranes and the speakers. And then at the end, we will have cold refreshments and some Japanese tea cookies. For oh, people perfect. Enjoy. Now, what time does this event start on the It 6th? starts at 6 p.m. on goes. August 6th, and we're expecting it to be done by 7.15. Perfect. Well, Liz, I want to say thank you so much for coming by here today and give yeah. us a little information on this event. I'm very excited for this because I do come from a Japanese cultured family, so I'm very excited for this event. I wanted to say thank you for coming here to explain it to us. Yeah, well, thank you so much for your interest, and we really hope people will turn out because this is one of those events in history that it's important that we come together as a community to remember. Perfect. And Treasure Valley, thank you for joining us again, and make sure August 6th you take part in the Memorial Walk for the bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki.